Hi everybody, today we're doing supercharger oil service on a 2003 Mini Cooper S. Servicing the supercharger requires removing it from the car. Uh, to do this we first need to put the car into front end service mode. Please see my other video for how to put the car into front end service mode. Click on the link in the description or on the video here to watch it now. Okay, to finish working on the supercharger here, we need to pull the dipstick, uh, move this vacuum, uh, fuel vacuum, fuel breather, vapor breather to, uh, apparatus. Okay, next we need to uh, take the tension off the belt and disconnect the 16 millimeter bolt. So we need to use the uh, mini belt tensioner tool. If you don't have one and you're planning on working on your R53, you're going to need one of these. So you just slide it on in, uh, hook the fulcrum point over the 16 millimeter hole. Uh, the other two holes go into, there's two holes on the tensioner assembly itself. Once those slide in, you can pull to remove tension off the belt. Uh, there's two holes in here. You need to slide a pin through those two holes while you're pulling on it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it's in the second hole. Now we can use a 16 millimeter wrench to uh, remove this bolt. And the tool has become captive. Now we want to pull the belt off of the supercharger snout. Then we have to remove the alternator, which is held in by three bolts. I like to put a block of wood to rest the alternator on. Remove this bolt right here. And disconnect this breather tube. If you push down on the red clip and pull up on the tube, it'll come out. And next, we need to remove the bottom radiator hose. There's a very there's a clamp in here that's kind of hard to get to. We need to disconnect this hose right here, disconnect the intake hose. Uh, we need to remove these four bolts. Get this out of the way. Now we can pull on this um, supercharger intake. This is my least favorite part in the entire car. Okay. That's, I think that's sufficiently out of the way. Now we have to remove the dipstick tube, which is held by a couple of 13 millimeters. Pull these clips off. They're attached to the dipstick tube. Pull up and out. So far, I haven't seen any cars where it's been necessary to change the dipstick to O-ring.
when we remove the supercharger, water is going to come out of the back of the water pump, so be sure to put something in this hole where the dipstick was to avoid water going into the crankcase. Now we have 13 millimeter bolts to remove. And that's all. So the supercharger should pull off and we're going to have to guide it out around this, these various parts. We do need to remove the intercooler to get the supercharger off. Looks pretty good. There's always a little bit of oil in there. That's totally normal. There's one more coolant hose back there. Boy, it sure is fun to remove hoses on this car. There it goes. Well, that's a lot of fun. All right, to service this thing, we got to take the water pump off. This is the fill plug right here. The other fill plug is right here. The front you want to put up, put enough fluid so it fills up to about here. Not too much, maybe about four ounces. That's about a hundred milliliters, I believe. In the back, you need just a tiny bit, only to fill up to about here. So that's maybe 25 milliliter or um, an ounce at most. So the stuff you want to use is GM part number. One, two, three, four, five, nine, eight, two. You only need one of these bottles. This is a three sixteenth size hex socket. Go ahead and pour this out. I bet you almost nothing's going to come out. That's actually a lot compared to most of the ones I've serviced. Really, there's hardly any in there at all. So then you want to try to put probably about twice as much as that. So you go ahead and squeeze and... Okay, that's plenty. We'll see how much comes out of the front. Quite a lot more is coming out of the front. It's coming out very black. The new, the new oil is almost totally clear. So we want to go ahead and do the same thing on the front. OK, 
Okay, that's probably good. This O-ring looks pretty bad, so we'll change this.